another Cha Chantang favorite, baked seafood on rice, creamy, decadent white sauce with a mixture of delicious seafood on top of rice, baked with some mozzarella oozing on top. It is so delicious. Hey everyone, I'm Flo, dude is behind the camera and we're all about simple food, simple faith. Baked pork chop on rice is my son's favorite when we go to the Hong Kong style cha chan tangs, which are uh, the Hong Kong style cafes. And my daughter's favorite is anything with a white sauce. So we are making this for her today. Starting off with approximately a pound of seafood and it's just a mixture of different things. I've got some shrimp, some scallops, squid and crab which imitation crab. I'm gonna cut the seafood down so that everything is approximately the same size. And since my scallops are this size, I'm gonna to try to aim to get the rest of the seafood down so that it cooks evenly when I cook it all together. I have about five shrimp. These are the 21 to 25 size. And I'm gonna cut these in half down the middle. They've already been, the shell's taken off and deveined, mostly deveined. Let's take that out. I'm gonna cut them into four pieces. Okay, moving on to the crab. I just wanted to show you that they are often wrapped in a piece of plastic. So make sure you remove this plastic before you start cutting into the pieces. Oh, that's pretty key. Right? Don't want to eat that. I'm just going to cut these into cubes. All right, so I was at the Asian market, I guess yesterday, and I said to dude, of course they don't have like already cut up calamari. They sell them in like whole pieces of squid. So I'm just gonna cut them into rings. Maybe even cut them down a little bit more down the middle. I think that's what I'll do. So they're not so huge. There, that's better. I'm using two teaspoons of cooking wine. This is just a rice wine. Usually I use Shaoxing wine and you can use that as well if you don't have the other rice wine. It's all the same, but it's not. The flavor's a little bit different. And about half a teaspoon of salt. Maybe a quarter teaspoon. Don't need too much. And about an eighth of a teaspoon of ground white pepper. I'm just gonna stir this up, let it marinate while we get the rest of the ingredients ready. While the seafood is marinating, we're going to get our fried rice ready. I've got three eggs. I'm just going to lightly beat. And we have our leftover rice. I have probably three to four cups in there. You can use as much as you'd like. Heating up my wok. Okay, when your wok starts smoking, add about a tablespoon of oil and get your eggs in there. And if you don't have a wok, you can just use a large frying pan. Okay, once the egg is almost cooked through, remove it. Adding another tablespoon of 
oil. And we're getting our rice in there. And using your spatula, just break it down. I'm trying to make sure that the kernels, I don't know if that's what you call rice, rice kernels, yes. rice grains are separated and heat it through. And we're using a cold refrigerated rice so that it is a little bit dry and that's what you kind of want. You don't want soggy fried rice. And that's why it's better to make it with leftover rice than freshly cooked rice. Adding a tablespoon of soy sauce and a tablespoon of oyster sauce. Come on, oyster sauce, come out, come out. Adding the egg back in and turning off the heat. Just break it up. Whoops. Did you see that? I saw it came straight for me. <laughs> All right. I'm going to transfer this into a 9 by 13 pan. We're feeding the whole family, so when you order it in the restaurant, it comes in individual portions. It's not something that you can order for the whole family. But at home, I'm not making individual dishes. Okay, just gonna spread it out, make sure that the pan is evenly covered in rice. Okay, that ought to do it. So I gave my wok a quick rinse, not like a full wash, just gets most of the rice that stuck on there off, turning it back on. I'm gonna turn it down to medium high, I think. Okay, adding another tablespoon of oil and getting my seafood in. This will only take about a minute. And when the shrimp starts to turn red or orange, that's when you're gonna pull it off. And the squid will turn white, the scallops will turn white. The crab is already cooked, just needs to be heated through. Turning off the heat, and transfer it into a clean bowl. I don't really want the liquid, so I'm just gonna try to get the, try to drain it a little bit. Okay, setting that aside, turning the heat on to a medium, and I'm using a medium saucepan. And I'm gonna make my white sauce in here. Quarter cup of unsalted butter. Gonna melt this. Adding a quarter cup of flour as soon as all the butter is melted. We're gonna whisk that in and create a roux. I'm cooking this for about a minute or two. Okay, adding about half a cup of milk. I just wanna make sure that we're not creating any lumps. So stir continuously and keep adding milk as you go. Once you're sure that there are no more lumps, you can add the rest of the milk. 
And we're just gonna heat that through until it thickens. Just want to stir this pretty constantly just to make sure that there are no lumps and we don't want, we also don't want to burn it. So got to keep a watch on it. It'll take about three to five minutes. All right, it's come to a simmer. I'm just gonna turn off the heat because it's bubbling up, which is beyond my control and comfort. <laughs> you want the back of your spoon to be coated and this is okay, but maybe a little bit further. We want the sauce to be thick enough to hold the seafood and not soak into the rice. So I'm gonna boil this a little bit longer just to get it to the right consistency. But it's thickened quite nicely. Probably another two minutes or so, I think. Let's try again. Yeah. Okay, I think this is okay. I can add my seafood back in. Another way to tell is if you, if at the back of your spoon and you can pull it without it coming back together, then it's ready. Okay, adding my seafood back in. You know, there's some liquid in here. I'm just gonna try to not put the liquid back in. I've also preheated my broiler on high so that we can stick this under it and brown the top and melt the cheese. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. It does look yummy. Okay, we're gonna cover the rice with the seafood and sauce and distribute it evenly. All right. I did end up using all the sauce, so what am I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> all right, I already grated about two cups of mozzarella and we're just gonna put that right on top again, evenly over the pan. Remember everything is cooked through now. It's just a matter of heating it through and melting the cheese on top. Okay, sticking it under the broiler for five minutes. Oh my goodness, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. All right, I know you guys are all ready for. Oh yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. The taste. Hats off to the Cha Cha Tang originators who dreamt up these dishes. Who would have thought? cream sauce on rice, baked with cheese, except for the lactose intolerant, which thankfully there are lactase enzyme pills. When Flo mentioned that we were doing this recipe, my daughter squeaked with excitement in anticipation of these flavors that she loves and she wants to order every time we head into an HK style cafe. The gooiness of the cheese. Look at that. Yeah, get some of that cheese in there. A scallop and some rice on the periphery. Hopefully it's not too hot to burn the tongue. Mmm, so many great flavors and textures in here. You know, the, um, the familiar chewiness of mozzarella and the little bit of browning that happens. So we get a little bit of that crispiness just on the edges of the cheese. And the perfectly cooked seafood, if you overcook seafood, it's just gonna be like hard nuggets. And with the rice just being always the perfect delivery vehicle for a yummy food and that sauce, the bechamel sauce, it just coats everything so nicely. So the flavors are fantastic, just marinated lightly and enough and perfectly. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Mm -hmm. 
If you don't like any of the seafood that I put in there, don't use it, use what you like. You can add fish or mussels or clam. And if there's too much white sauce, reduce the sauce. If you want more sauce, you can always add more sauce. So just play with it until you get the right texture with all the different ingredients in play. You're gonna love it. For more Asian style recipes, simple and delicious, check it out. I will see you over there.